Today, I'm going to talk about why I stay in the U.S. And I feel the more, the longer you stay in the U.S., uh, the less likely you are to go away. So uh, here there's a park shelter. It's a picnic area. Um, it's quite large. And this is a public barbecue grill. You can just use it. Just bring your own stuff. So I always want to come to visit this park uh, because I always see the lake on my way to pick up my daughter from daycare. So finally, today is a nice day and I um, leave the hospital a little bit early, like 10 minutes early than usual. So finally, I can take a look of this park and enjoy a little bit peaceful spring afternoon. So my background is I graduated uh, from med school in China and I came to the U.S. So at the very beginning, I didn't plan to stay U.S. for a long time. My original plan is, you know, do my PhD, um, my postdoc in a big university, and then go back to China to be a assistant professor. But then uh, when I came here, I took my uh, USME steps and finally become a uh, doctor here. So the reason right now I cannot go back to China to be a doctor in China is that my training is totally in the U.S. So you know the medical school, we taught everything in Chinese, but my training in pathology is totally in English. Um, as many people as you know, if you went to the medical school, the pathology is different, totally different uh, in residency compared to the pathology course you took in medical school. It's just totally different. So I barely know the pathology terminology in Chinese. That's the main reason I cannot go back to China as a pathologist. You know, the internal medicine and surgery, maybe they share a lot of um, common you know, because we use it every day. But pathology is totally a different uh, field. You know, you, you have to have a train to get familiar, know the terminology. So for me, I just cannot go back to China. And also my training is in the U.S. right now. The China, they also have a kind of residency program, which means I have to go through the residency program again in China in order to be attending. So which is also unrealistic. Okay, so that's for me. And uh, also for my husband, it is also unreal because he has a um, PhD diploma in biology, not in a uh, computer science. Although right now he is uh, doing the software engineer here. Yeah, it's quite amazing for him to be a software engineer in the U.S. It's like a U.S. dream come true. We met in the medical school, and uh, he was a medical school student, and actually he graduated from medical school. And um, he doesn't like uh, medicine at all. He complained about that and always uh, thought uh, he should quit medical school and re redo it, you know, apply to the computer science. But eventually when he came to the U.S., he did the bioinformatics, the PhD. And then after PhD, he just totally become a software engineer unrelated to biology or medicine at all. Although he didn't have any um, computer science diploma. So right now he is a software engineer in a big company. 
So I guess if you go back to China, your working experience also counts, but your diploma also counts too. And he doesn't have the diploma, which may be a little bit uh, complicated and difficult for for him. And also, you know, he we've we've been in the U.S. for like twelve years. You know.、Mm, It's kind of a, a long period. Not in China, we don't have the connections. You know, we don't have the ways to start over. You know, we just don't have the courage to start over again.、Uh, so that's for us. So speaking of、uh, our daughters. So they are both born in the U.S. and they are three and one year old. If we go back to China, the grandparents will be super happy, so they can see their granddaughters quite often, you know. But right now,、uh, they are coming to the U.S. every、uh, six months,、uh, you know, take turns to look after the kids because they are quite young. But eventually, they will go to. Daycares. My old one is in daycare, and my little one probably will go to daycare in the May. So they will be in the school. And、um, in the U.S., we have a house. You know, kids can just run in the house and also run in the yard. We don't need to worry about the neighbors complaining, saying, "Oh, your 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 kids are too loud." <laughs> you know. Because in China we have a lot of、uh, apartments. Probably we will end up in apartments.、Um, the first thing you need to deal with is the neighborhood. You you just don't want too loud to interrupt other people's rest. But you know the kids are kind of hard to control. In this age, they just want to run. You know, <laughs> you just cannot control that. And also, we don't want to have other people. Disturb our sleeping or our rest too, so it's like a mutual. So I think a single house is the, probably the best、uh, solution、uh, to raise the kids. And、uh, I think they are quite happy, you know, in the U.S. It's more free. So far, they don't need to worry about、uh, academia at all. They just go play, and I. So far, they don't care the academic at all. You know, they're just three and one, <laughs> so it's kind of less pressure.、Uh, being a kid and being a mom in the U.S. compared to the China, and、um, me and my husband, we are both single child policy that period. <laughs> So we don't have brothers or sisters. So I always want to have two kids, so they can be with each other. You know, can they, they can talk to each other, play with each other, maybe sometimes fight with each other. So me and my husband, we just don't have that experience. So although we are like a single child, you know, my parents and his parents also love us so much, right? And、uh, you know they can feel free to come to visit us,、uh, and they are like early sixties. They are in good health care. They are in good health, and、um, they have like、uh, the insurance back in China, which is way more way less cheaper than the U.S. Now they are all retired. They can spend time, you know, travel around in China, go to places, or even go to. Uh, foreign countries, because I'm planning to take my parents to Mexico, Cancun,、uh, this fall. So it will be a nice family trip. I hope so. So yeah, mainly the reason we stay in the U.S. You know, being a twelve years, it's kind of hard to go back to China. And the main reason we stay here is in our jobs,、um, the kids' lifestyle, and our lifestyle. And、um, of course,、uh, 
uh, my parents and uh, my husband's parents uh, can come to visit us uh, as long as they want. Uh, right now, I feel it's still quite uh, convenient. Uh, maybe it will change if they get older or have some um, health problems. And I hope that will not happen. So, yeah, basically that's it from today's video. Just nice talk to you guys. And uh, um, I will see you next time.